There has been a lot of discussion and questions about an official update leak. So let's tell you everything there is to know. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. Honestly, I wasn't going to make a video about this, but there have been a lot of comments on previous videos about the new defense levels. So let's quickly talk about where we found this information from and show you the comparisons. But then what I want to do is actually tell you what it means. When could we expect this update? And why do Supercell slowly integrate new levels like this? Clash of Clans often bring promotional videos. You will have seen these on the official Clash of Clans channel. This one from the Jungle Warden. And every once in a while, there is something in there such as this. Take a look at the air defense. When we place them side by side, you can clearly see the difference. The one on the right being the proposed new level and it definitely matches better with the jungle theme. Within the promotional video, at this exact same moment, we can see a new wizard tower level. And it was even featured a second time. A side-by-side -side comparison of the wizard towers. Again, it just looks so much better for the jungle theme. The other clear comparison was here, the archer tower. Pretty obvious in the appearance showcasing a new level. I will talk about when I believe these will be added and why Supercell do it like this, but I think there were other subtle hints in the video. So let's take a watch through this. You've probably seen it, maybe even breakdowns with my good friends Bash and Itsu. I'll have their channels linked in the description if not, but here's the first hint. Wizards with the Jungle Warden. Then we see Golems, Valkyries, and Healers. Pay close attention to the troops used. Witchers being the next featured. There are not a lot of troops featured in this promotional video. Goblins being next. And then we also see the Super Version of the Witch. And whenever we gain a new troop level, the Super Version also gains a new troop level. We also then have the Minions and the Ice Golems. Not as obvious, but I find it interesting that four out of the eight troops featured gained a new level with the Town Hall 14 update. Does this mean we will also get new troop levels? I want to talk about what this all means then. When could we see new defense levels, maybe the new troop levels? But I want to make it clear that this is not concrete information. You know that I'm NDA with Supercell. I bring you the official sneak peeks, but we haven't heard anything about the next update. I will never lie to you guys here on the channel. I just wouldn't do that. And it's why I don't tend to bring videos like this. But since it was shown on the official Clash of Clans channel, there was a lot of questions about it. I wanted to give you some clarity, but please bear in mind, this is not a guarantee. However, I do think it's pretty obvious that we will get new troop and defense levels within the next updates. The reason I say the next updates is because that is generally what happens. If we take a look at the Clash of Clans website and their blog, when Town Hall 13 was released, we did receive new defense levels and also new troop levels, and even more were slowly rolled out. Three months later, we received a whole set of new troop and defense levels. Interestingly, at that time, it was four new troop levels and three new defense levels, but this has been what happens with Town Hall releases for as long as I can remember. I believe Supercell released the content like this for a few reasons that I am going to explain. But I first want to talk about what does this actually mean? Seeing the new defense levels in an official video, does that mean it's confirmed? Not necessarily, and I am going to give an example for this, but even if those defenses aren't added, I am more than confident that in my opinion, we will see more troop and defense levels in the next update. I've already explained, that's typically what we see. So I think there will be new levels, but there was a situation, I believe it was in the last year, and I tried for the life of me to find the specific forum post, I believe it was by Darian, but I could not find it. If anybody knows what I'm talking about here, please drop a comment, and I will be sure to pin that comment if you do happen to find the example. But Darian mentioned 
that there was one thing that slipped into a promotional video that was not coming to the game. It was something they were playtesting, the graphic was there, and when they sent the video to the marketing agency, it slipped through the net and it made it to a promotional video, but it was not being added. I wish I could remember what it was, but I do remember that example, and I tell you that not because I don't think the new levels are coming, I mean specifically the defense levels were a little bit more evident in the video. The troop levels, I was definitely being speculative with that one, but it wouldn't surprise me if they came either. However, I tell you this not because I don't think they're coming, but to be real with you. I don't want to get people's hopes up, but generally... Clash are very careful on what is in official videos. So in the next update, I do think we will get the defense levels. In terms of troop levels, I double checked the graphics and there was no graphical difference between them. So maybe that was just me speculating, but I do think we'll also see new troop levels and I believe we will see this in the quarterly update. Not going to go through this in depth, but Darian has said they tend to bring a spring, summer, autumn, and winter update. The summer update tends to be around about June time. And I do think there will be more content to that update, but as part of it, we can expect new troop and defense levels, probably the three defense levels that we've seen in the video, alongside even more wall pieces. And the wall pieces are an interesting one because that tends to be where the question is asked, why do they only release a certain amount? Why can't you just upgrade all of them together? And that nicely segues us into why I think Supercell release content for Town Hall levels like this. By the way, if you're looking at my terrible troll base this is because i recorded the video i've been talking about where we placed the battle builders around the town hall that's actually going to be the next video so be sure to subscribe in order to see that i think there's two main reasons that supercell slowly add content like this i do agree it's a little bit strange that the walls you can only upgrade a certain amount at the same time and i think the walls are more to do with the fact that the team do not want you to burn through the update content as soon as it is released. Because they only release a major content update every three months or so, it means that you still have things to upgrade on your base. Because if they released it all at once, there would be people that A, gemmed the whole thing, or B, farmed non-stop until they'd upgraded everything, and then it's easy to get bored because the next town hall level wouldn't be for quite some time. So that's factor one. And I think that's the main reason for the wall limit, because let's be honest, if you upgraded all of your walls, it's not going to majorly change the defense of your base. But if there are specific defenses, such as the Archer Tower, Wizard Tower, and Air Defense, which have not been upgraded yet, it means that not only does it help with the first point in that you still have things to upgrade, but they can monitor the game balance a lot easier. And that's where the troop levels come into play as well. Because if they just added a new defense level, a new troop level for everything, it's very difficult to get the balance of the game correct. With the addition of a new Town Hall level, Town Hall 14, bringing the new Battle Builder Huts and the Hero Pets, it's hard enough to get the balance right just integrating those in themselves. So imagine if they then added new troop and defense levels for everything, it's really difficult to pinpoint what it is which is knocking the balance out. Whereas if they slowly add them to the game, it means they can monitor things a lot easier. So so that is my thoughts that I wanted to share since many of you were asking if you want to know how to upgrade your base as fast as possible. I did a recent guide on that. It's linked on the screen alongside the subscribe button. I hope this one was helpful. You guys take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video.